I'm Denise Strain and I'm the Director of Research and Evaluation at the Seoul Centre for Advancing Learning and Teaching at Northwestern University. I'm glad to join Olivia as we discuss another important resource to leverage as you're planning your career, your network. While your network includes the people you work with, your community of practice, it's actually much broader than that. Your network includes your professional contacts current and former professors, mentors, peers. Your network also includes people who went to the same schools as you, whether you've met before or not. It's also important to recognize that each of these people in your network have a network of their own and might be connected in other ways. Every time you engage with someone in your network, meeting for coffee, asking a question, exchanging thoughts online, that connection gets stronger. Conducting an informational interview is a great way to learn about careers or experiences that interest you while strengthening or expanding your network. Today we're going to help you prepare for an informational interview by identifying someone in your network you would like to learn more about and drafting an email to that person. Intersect Job Simulations is one of many resources which describes the steps to conducting an informational interview including preparing, conducting, and following up. Think of people at your institution, corporation, or even people you've only heard of whose work you're interested in, held roles you want, or received certain awards. Maybe it's a colleague or former student of your mentor. It might be someone working in a different department or at an entirely different institution, in a different city, state, or country. The first step to informational interviewing is using your resources, that's right, your network, to learn who can give you the information you need to make the most informed career decisions possible. Go ahead and think of a few people you're interested in talking to and what information they might be able to share with you. Research their background and think about what you want to know about them. Record your thoughts in the space below. Once you've decided on a few people you're interested in interviewing, consider if you feel comfortable contacting them directly. Would it be more appropriate to ask someone for an introduction? Take some time to write an email to one of your potential interviewees in the discussion forum. Please leave out any identifying information like name, position or institution. Once you've posted your email, Provide feedback on two or three others. Although it's not required for this course, we encourage you to send the email you've drafted and to conduct a few informational interviews. Consult the Intersect Guide to Informational Interviewing below. Think about the types of questions you have for this person. A question is a tool to gather data. Think about which data you want to gather. Maybe you want to hear about the twists and turns along their path. Reflect on these questions as you prepare for the informational interview.